The 10 Most Remote Places on Earth. Before we start the video, I want you to comment down below where the most remote place in the world you've ever been is. For me, it's probably when I camped at the southernmost tip of New Zealand's South Island. Please do let me know in the comments. I can't wait to read what you have to say. Number 10. The Pitcairn Islands, Southern Pacific Ocean. The Pitcairn Islands are a group of four isolated volcanic islands in the middle of the Southern Pacific Ocean that form a sole British overseas territory. The four islands, Pitcairn proper, Henderson, Ducey, Oenda, are scattered across several hundred miles of ocean with a combined land area of just 18 square miles. Only one of the four islands is inhabited with a tiny population of just 50 people, making it the least populous national jurisdiction in the world. The 50 permanent inhabitants are said to almost all descend from just nine sailors and a handful of Tahitian women that landed there in 1790. The British government has actually been asking people to move there to help increase the population numbers. The only problem being that it is literally in the middle of the ocean, thousands of miles away from any form of civilization. It's said to be very beautiful, with glorious rolling hills, wonderful clear blue water, and truly, truly magnificent sunsets. Number 9. Longyearbyen, Norway. Or in English, literally translated to the Longyear town, is the most northernmost settlement in the world. Located on the island of Svalbard in the Arctic Circle, Longyearbyen has a population of just 2,144, and reportedly there are more polar bears on the island than there are humans. It is so cold all year round that it is actually illegal to bury dead bodies there, as they will never decompose in the frozen ground due to the low temperature. Instead, when someone passes away, they have to be flown to mainland Norway to be buried. All houses in the town have to be built on stilts so they don't slide away when the topsoil melts in the summer. Number 8. Siwa Oasis, Egypt. The Siwa Oasis is one of Egypt's most isolated yet beautiful settlements. Located deep in the middle of Egypt's western desert, this stunning place boasts its own Siwi language, an amazingly unique culture that has been largely preserved from outside influence. Tourists rarely visit despite its profound historical and natural beauty. The reason for them not visiting is probably because it involves a 350 mile or 560 kilometer drive through one of Egypt's most barren and extreme deserts. For the few tourists that do brave the long journey, they can hope to enjoy locally grown dates and olives, swim in Cleopatra's mineral bath spring, and even stay a few nights at an eco-lodge although they should be aware that temperatures in the peak of summer have been recorded at a truly scorching 118 degrees Fahrenheit or 48 degrees Celsius. So hopefully they've remembered to pack their sunscreen. Number 7. La Rinconada, Peru. La Rinconada is the highest permanent settlement in the world. Sitting at 16,700 feet or 5,100 meters above sea level, people brave living at such a high altitude because large amounts of gold have been found in the area. The settlement itself is renowned for its poor living conditions. The town has no running water or sewage systems and temperatures average just 36 degrees Fahrenheit or 2.2 degrees Celsius. So it's definitely not the nicest place to live. Large portions of the area are also severely contaminated with mercury due to the local gold mining practices. The nearest town is at best a seven-hour drive away on dangerous, unpaved mountain roads. The town has been described as one of the harshest places to live in the world. Number 6. Omyakon, Siberia. Located in Siberia, Russia, Omyakon is known as the coldest town on earth, with average winter temperatures falling to a staggeringly cold minus 50 degrees. Only around 500 people live here, and in the winter months, they live in darkness for 21 hours of the day. It's too cold to grow any kind of crops, so the residents mainly eat reindeer meat, frozen fish, and horse blood ice cubes. It's too cold and too sparsely populated for planes to fly there, so anyone that wants to visit 
must travel over 550 miles by car along what is known as the Road of Bones. This road is notorious in Russia. It was named the Road of Bones after the thousands of Gulag prisoners that died building it during Soviet rule. Number 5. Motyo, Tibet Motyo was one of the last populated areas on the planet to be connected by road with the outside world. They only finished the very basic dirt roads connecting this area just a few years ago. The estimated 12,000 people who live here have been effectively out of touch with the modern world for most of their existence. This luscious region is considered to be holy land in Tibetan Buddhist scripture and the name Motyo is said to mean hidden lotus in the local language. It's claimed that before the road was complete, it would take people a five-day mountain trek to reach the closest outside settlement. Number 4. Tristan da Cunha, South Atlantic Ocean This volcanic island located in the South Atlantic Ocean is a British overseas territory and is considered to be the most remote inhabited island in the entire world. This island is over 2,000 miles away from the South American coast and 1,700 miles away from the South African coast. It takes a seven-day boat journey, providing you have good weather, to reach this island. But the crazy thing is, the boats only come to the island nine times a year. So if you want to visit, you've got to time your trip with the boat's schedule and be willing to stay on the island for over a month before you can leave again. Around 260 people are said to live here on the island. They predominantly speak English, but the locals have also created their own language, merging English, Dutch, Italian and Irish into one truly bizarre and unique language. Number 3. Socotra Island, Yemen This wonderful remote island located off the West African coast is a true marvel of the world. It is sometimes known as Alien Island. This is due to its diverse and magnificent array of wildlife and plants. One third of all the species on the island cannot be found anywhere else on Earth. The plants and wildlife have evolved in their own isolation to be truly unique. People that have visited say it is beyond spectacular, one of the most unique landscapes they have ever witnessed. In 2008, it was officially recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 2 Vale do Javari, Brazil, is located deep within the Amazon rainforest. It is one of the most remote places in South America, only accessible by trekking for days upon days through the hundreds of miles of thick rainforest. It's estimated that around 3,000 indigenous people live in this area and approximately 2,000 of them have never been fully contacted by the outside world. We only identified them by doing aircraft reconnaissance across the jungle. So for all we know, there could actually be more undiscovered and uncontacted indigenous tribes living in this truly remote area. These people, whose ancestors have lived in the jungle since the beginning of man, are going to face the harsh reality of modern civilization in coming years. Brazil's current far-right government are intent on effectively destroying the Amazon rainforest, so businesses can graze cattle and grow crops in the area to sell across the world. As the greed of modern man helps to shrink the Amazon rainforest, the indigenous people will increasingly come into conflict and pay the price of dealing with the outside world. Number 1. McMurdo Station, Antarctica Located literally at the bottom of the earth, this might just be one of the most inhospitable, remote places on our planet. McMurdo Station, found at the southern tip of Ross Island in Antarctica, is a research centre for scientists. At its peak in the summer months, it can support around 1,250 people. But in the cold, dark winter months, only 250 remain there. It is operated by the United States Antarctic Programme, which is a branch of the National Science Foundation. Despite its truly remote location in the world, scientists can live a relatively comfortable life here. There are over 85 buildings with facilities that include a harbour that is usable in the warmer months, three landing strips, a helicopter pad, a power plant, a fire station, several different shops and apparently even a nightclub that opens in the summer months. 
Well, that's it for this video. Comment down below if you would ever visit one of these remote places. I can't wait to hear what you say. Thanks for watching.